Hi, I'm Nisar. Benchmarking document understanding OCR extraction is really important. Benchmarking of OCR extraction by creating an accuracy matrix helps to gain better accuracy on documented extraction. It also increases automation feasibility of complex input documents, and it also helps a lot of customers. The customer should perform and prefer OCR benchmarking before they get started with the data extraction. So let me quickly show you what are all the different data types that we are going to look at. So this is the first document type. This document is a photograph of a digital printed document. As you can see, we have a couple of text fields, which is date, invoice, terms, due, and tabular data. Now, as this is a digitally printed document, the next document is a handwritten document. It's a photograph of a handwritten document where we have text fields which are handwritten and also tabular fields which are handwritten. Now, this is a document which is again a worst case scenario for document understanding. And now we have inverted handwritten document where we have text fields and also tabular text fields. The next document in the line is the digital inverted document. In the digital inverted document, we have tabular data and the data. This is the scanned document, which is a digitally scanned document. And then the last one in the collection we have is a handwritten scanned document, where we have text fields and tabular fields and Quickly going back to our workflow, let us run for the two OCRs. So we are running right now a workflow for the worst case scenario, which is an inverted data. Now, this document is a photograph of handwritten document where it is again inverted. Now, let's see how we can extract details from this inverted mm -hmm. photograph document. Now, this is our workflow and our board is currently running, as you can see on screen, and soon board will come up with the first OCR extraction, which is OCR used UI file document OCR and file is inverted. Let's click on OK. Now, present validation station will pop up. In the present validation station, we can see the inverted document has been extracted pretty accurately. This is the first text field, which is handwritten. Second text field, which is invoice number extracted accurately. Again, the third text field, which is the terms, due date. And let's look at the tabular data. So, tabular data is also extracted pretty accurately. Where you can see there's a handwritten fields monitor keyboard mouse and HDMI cable, which was extracted with a great accuracy using UI parts document OCR. And then we have also extracted digital documents here and digital fields in a tabular format. Also, the tax and the total value. Let's save this and continue for the next OCR extraction. So, next OCR extraction will be Microsoft's OCR, working on the similar inverted document to extract the details from the inverted data where it is a handwritten. So here we have OCR used, Microsoft, file inverted. Clicking on OK, let's navigate to the present validation station and let's have a look at what is extracted. So as you can see, this is the same inverted document, but the document is still inverted and there are no extraction fields of invoice date, invoice number, terms, due date, neither the tabular data. So data is not extracted at all is because the document is inverted and the inverted document is not supported by this OCR. So let's go ahead and let's save the details. Now, as Alex has already explained, I have used document understanding framework. And using the document understanding framework, as we can see here in this workflow, we have the load taxonomy, then we have the digitization document, and now in the export extraction wizard, we have a field which says the properties include OCR confidence. This is really important for OCR benchmarking. Now let's enable this and let's run the bot. Now, meanwhile, when the bot is running, let's have a look at output data. So in the output folder, I have executed this OCR comparison for OCR benchmarking for all the different types of OCRs, as you can see in screen. For UiPath document OCR, Microsoft OCR, Tesseract, Avi Cloud OCR and only page OCR. Now it generates an Excel format file data where all the data will be printed. Now our board is completed execution within only 22 seconds for one of the document. But let's navigate and let's have a look at the extracted data. So this is the extraction of UI part handwritten data. Now let's open it and let me zoom in a little bit so that we can have a better visibility. And this one where the invoice date 
you can see the invoice rate is a handed entry and it is extracted with 99.9% accuracy. Invoice number, again a handed entry, extracted with 56.49% accuracy. Terms, 75.37. And then we have the due date also extracted with 99% accuracy. We have the tabular data here. The tabular data, first column was handwritten, which is extracted with almost 100% accuracy, where the OCR confidence is written right next in the next column. So this is how we can capture all these OCR confidence details using the check field in document understanding framework. And these are all the OCR confidences for all the digital data, which are almost 99% accurate. Now with this, let's jump on the OCR comparison metric. So this is a digital OCR extraction comparison metrics, where as we have already seen the documents, we have extracted the text fields separately and the tabular fields separately. But this is for the only page OCR, the first column, where we have the data extracted for image, which is a photograph, and then for the inverted photograph, and then for the scanned document. And similarly, we have extracted for AbiCloud OCR, Microsoft OCR, QiPath, and Tessera. Now, as we have already seen, Microsoft was not able to extract the inverted document. So, as I have mentioned here, any for all the fields. Similarly, for Tesseract, it is also not able to extract the photograph details and the inverted document details. So, we have marked as any. Now, similarly, we have extracted from handwritten OCR extractions, which I mentioned here, where we have handwritten fields. And between tabular fields, digital and table digital, where we have calculated all the digits. Now let's calculate average score of accuracy. So here we will apply a formula of average, and let's select all the details in this column, and let's calculate the average of them. If we have calculated average for image, let's multiply it with hundred, so we can get our percentile accuracy. And then we will jump on to the next column, which is of the scan document. So let's apply the simple formula of average, and let's calculate the average accuracy of all the expected OCR data. Now here we have the accuracy of again 89%. Let's apply formula of multiplied with 100, so we can get the percentage. So overall accuracy here is 90% because it's 89.89, and the overall accuracy of the scan document is 89%. Similarly, I have calculated accuracy for all the data and I have generated accuracy matrix. So the first accuracy matrix is for handwritten document. So we have multiple OCRs and all the different types of handwritten documents and the relevant percentile accuracy. Mm -hmm. Similarly, we have for digital document, all the digital documents and the relevant accuracy. Now, based on this, we will calculate the overall accuracy for all the OCRs and we will generate a matrix. Now let's quickly look at the metrics on the presentation that how can we generate OCR benchmarking. So as we have seen on screen, this is the document understanding OCR comparison metrics where we have all the documents written below and we have comparative percentile accuracy of each and every OCR right here. Wherever we have mentioned zero percent, in that case, the OCR has failed to extract the details because of incompatibility of the document, that's when we have marked it as zero. This is the overall OCR accuracy where we have two Apple document OCR at 97%, Omni page at 91%, Apple Cloud at 50%, Microsoft at 46%, and Tesseract at 21 percent So what are the factors which affect the OCR extraction details? So there are many factors which might affect OCR extraction details. Out of them, I have listed a couple of here which is pen and pencil to mark over important data that might really impact your data extraction quality. Table without proper alignment of data, so we won't be able to extract details from the table of data. Cursive writing is still not good enough to be extracted from OCR. Blur scan copy will definitely impact the OCR extraction. Pirated scan document, as we have already seen, one of the reasons that it is not able to extract details with Microsoft Tesseract. Stamp remark over important data will definitely impact Handwritten data inside stamp remark. Signature overlapping important data will be affecting this important data extraction. Folded paper scan impact on the accuracy. Punch remarks or the punch machine remarks on the paper definitely impacts on the accuracy, and stepler remarks impacts on the accuracy a lot. 